All right, Mr. Dorsey is giving me a private lesson over the curriculum he's gonna be teaching, the TDKO affiliates tomorrow, the destroyer combos. So we're starting off, we're doing your jab cross. Yes, sir. You like to establish, make him believe you're throwing a jab or a jab cross. Yes, and then you do a power load, but you also dip. Yeah, drop. So drop, how, drop how, how low should I drop? Drop, you can get right, right below the head here. Okay, that way if he throws a hook or whatever, it skims uh, off. Defensive, uh, protective, and coming right up, shooting that up. Okay. So after I've established a few of these and he thinks that's what I'm doing, right. I drop about this much? Yes, sir. Should maybe, this maybe, maybe, maybe drop more in front like this. You're not turning his head sideways. More like that? Yeah. So don't, don't twist as much? No, you come up right in front of your face. Right, you cross. I throw that uppercut right in front of my face. Yes, sir. And then if that lands, I fire the cross too. Oh, yes, sir. So I program him, get him used to that. And then I. That's a little, just a little bit. That timing is off. It's not your timing gun off, but his timing is going to be off. And that's the idea. Gotcha. You think, boom, boom. So he then, thinks I'm going to exit. And then you think, okay, it's coming. So I'm, he crouches it down a little bit. I'm going to take you right from the chin, right in front of your face. Do you put, I know you, every hit's hard. Is the left uppercut, is it to hurt him or is it to stand him up and then hurt him with the cross? Oh yeah, yeah, you can hurt him for sure. Okay, so it's. Boom, boom, dip, up, cross. Yes, sir. Perfect, and the next one you went to was the same thing. You did the jab cross, you dip and you throw the liver hook. Yes, sir. Do you still, is it the same level change or do you load more on the yes, liver? Uh, you're going to lean more to 45 in your head and you got to load on that front leg. Okay, so the I still leg. load, but I'm going to lean a little more yes, sir. offline this time. Yes, sir. And that front leg is so important. All your weight there. So you just, yeah. Like, All your weight there, front leg. Yeah. Look. And then you do that classic Troy Dorsey hook with no pivot. Yes, sir. So it's two. Power load and lean offline. Dig through the body. Yeah. And then do you usually fade away to the right? You gotta go to the right. Right. Yes, sir. And then you, that's a good place to hit him. He's he, he was attacked here, so now he's gonna get attacked three. So I just hit two. you here. You attack here. And then look at you now. Oh, that sets up the right hand. Oh yeah. The, kick. the right hand, and, you, and it's gonna make it. He can't punch this way. Even if I try, yeah, I gotta move my feet. So it's two. Dip to the left. Liver shot, fade away, but stay in range to capitalize. To shield line, yes, sir. Perfect. Yeah, if you're in, so you if you don't stop fighting, if you don't stop fighting or punching until you're out of the uh, fighting range. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I've been teaching my students this week to have their pinky right below the cheekbone. Their pinky right below the cheekbone. Like that. That's a little more torque in your punch. Oh yes, sir. If you get that, so it's it's, it's not much more, but. If we can, if we get a little here, a little better, it all adds up. Yes, sir. Get a knockout punch. Pinkies on the cheekbones. Two. Hook to the body. Boom. Ready to go to the right. Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. The next one you're covering is the rear uppercut hook cross. Do you do anything to set that up, or is this just what you start with? Well, you, usually you're on the inside fighting. Usually. You, you it sir. can be thrown outside. I've seen it happen before, but most most of the time it's going to be used from the inside. So from the inside, the feet are they're on your little, not not your feet, but they're on your little little farther little farther front. Those pinky finger right there on your cheek bone. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, right there. Now you're in for it. Boom. I'm in for it. Boom, cross. Yes, sir. How much do you dip when you throw that rear uppercut with your legs? I know it's not an arm punch. I'm gonna be on the in, inside, so I'm gonna be, be pretty low. You already loaded. I'm already, I'm already there. I'm already loaded. I'm already cocked and loaded, ready to fire. I noticed in your fights, lots of times I would see you not elbow the guy, but no. you're kind of pushing. Was that to get him off balance? Get him off balance, and then you'd put him in the right range. Yes, sir. Exactly. So I'm here. Pinky's on my cheekbones. Yeah. Ready to push him. Some of those hands maybe loosen a little bit more when you're starting off. Uh -uh, a little closer, right there. Uh, your nose is right between you. You're good. Maybe right there. Right. Yeah, that, that's that's good. Good. yeah. This is new for me. Yeah. So right here, not here, yeah. not your thumbs. Your vision is not impaired at all. But pinkies, it's almost like you're squishing your nose with your gloves. Maybe a little lower. Just a little, a little lower. lower. Yeah, okay. you're, you're, 
your vision is not impaired at all. And then how much are you crunched forward at the back? I want to just be here. It's you know, almost like, like a deadlift. It's like when you lift like this, with your legs are straight, how powerful is that? No. I get my legs moved. Cool. So yeah, you look like you're doing a deadlift on your next stance. Yes, you want that, that deadlift right there. <laughs> on, uh, so I got here, here. You load that right hand at all, or are you throwing it right? I'm just, I'm, I'm keeping it here for protection. Yes, sir. <laughs> so it's gonna get there a lot faster too. Not only, not only you're, you're protected, your power, you're protected, but your, what else do you want without power and protection? Nothing else. Speed comes back. Yeah, yeah, so, so the, so exactly speed. So yeah, we gotta get faster. We gotta get faster. <laughs> okay, that's pretty fast, but we gotta get faster. Yes, sir. <laughs> And then, and then I would just say get faster. So we're always trying to get faster. Yes, sir. That's a benefit for everyone. You just so go, go, go more light. So drop about six inches. Yes, sir. Drop, and then come up. Six inches like that. Yeah, just drop right in front of it. Do you do that with the, the bob and the wheel? Or is it just straight down? So, yeah, once, once I'm in here, I'm not going to move it too much. Like that. Just drop. Once I get in, I drop. I drop. Gotcha. I drop from my face. Stop in front of my face. Stop in front of my face. If you're going one, we're going in. Okay, straight down. Gotcha. Right. Here I'm on the inside. Just drop. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Gotta break the hat. I'm always moving them. You can move, but you just want to make sure that you're you're not in here too long. You're looking at it. Yes, sir. And you have, you're gonna be you want to be on here. So you're, gonna, you're gonna have your body on here, body like this, like this. Then you pull back. Right in front of your face. When you practice this with mitts, do you actually lean on your partner a little bit? Oh yes, sir. You bump me, and then yes, you can sir. feel that combo. Exactly. Yes, sir. I'm here. Yeah. Boom! 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 boom. 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 You knock them off balance. I'll show the bump. So where's where my hand going? I get knocked off balance. And it's up underneath me, especially like that. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's cool. So that's the rear uppercut. That's PK design. <laughs> okay, so now we're doing. You better not let this thing out before it. Oh, okay. We'll keep... <laughs> Only the affiliates get to see this one. All right, jab, cross, body hook, head hook. So it's kind of like a combo six without the cross. But I know, uh, kind of break down how you set up that body hook. Okay. Make sure. We're doing that on the same page. So jab cross, left hook to the body, left hook to the head. So you have cross, now my, my, my body's here. So one, two, my hand's here, your head, and it comes back, we'll hook, point the shoulder, hook. So you got load, load, load on that leg. And that's where everything comes from, that hook. So same one, two, and that liver hook, just like we did a combo or two ago. And then do you do a full power load again? Uh, or do you go halfway? Just go maybe maybe a little more than that. Now I got you. About a three quarter load? Yes, okay, sir. so not a full load. Full well, you, load. Yeah, you can point that back, you can put that shoulder on. Yeah, you just, you're gonna, boom. <laughs> yeah, so if you, if you turn this much less, it's so, it's so meniscus, it's not, it's not very much time at all. So you're really pointing your shoulder, your right shoulder at that fast. Think about pointing your right shoulder, don't think about getting this thing out of the way. Just think about pointing your shoulder. Okay. Boom, boom, point the, the right. Boom, point the right. Yeah. Good, yeah, you're keeping your hand right there, the right hand. That's good. Boom, boom, point the tip of the shoulder. Hook. Should I be dipping my head a little bit more on that first yeah, one? Yeah, lean so you're at a 45. There you go. Boom. Point. Oh, there you go. Let me show you one, one yep. more thing on the hook. One more thing on the hook. So you gotta go jab, cross. And then you're down there. Then you're gonna, if, if your head is this high, you're gonna you gonna hit this high. If your head is this high, you're gonna hit this high. So wherever your head is is where you wanna punch. Sounds like my head is measuring the height of the punch. Yes, sir. So now I'm ready for the lift. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, that's a clever shot. So you can imagine, you can imagine. Just keep your head right there and throw the hook right here. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> so so if you're if you're not down. Uh, far enough then it's gonna be less power. Just like when you're up here you could can't, you can't throw it. So the whole idea is to get your head behind that punch. Boom. 
So as I throw the hook, I understand what you're saying. Do I pop up as I'm throwing no. it, or do I stay? No. You gotta stay down. And then I pop up on the second for the head. Yeah, okay. Use your hand back. So yes, sir. See if you, you bring your head back to your hat. See this? Oh, this is good. Oh. Oh. Oh, where we're at. Yes, where, wherever your punch goes, make sure that your hand is behind that punch. And you, you're gonna do it while I go. So you said you, you didn't want to waste your time hooking that hand with your head up here. So imagine, imagine that as a wasting of your time. Yeah, right there, yeah. Maybe a little lower. Oh, that was, that was great. Yeah. Did you usually fade right on this one like you do yes, the body? Sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, that feels good. Get used to those destroyer hands. Now turn your pinky a little bit more like this. More, I guess, what more would that be? 49? Yes, sir. This. Face your knuckle, Yes. Turn those hands just a little bit. I just discovered this about three weeks ago. Oh, man. New secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, so we see, uh, do, do the hook slow. So we're going to go here. So, so now this is going to be a circle. The hook out real slow. So you go here. Go here, then go here. Oh, okay. Then go here. If I'm up there looking up down there, I don't see this little circle. My hands just do a spiral. Yeah. Like a bar barbershop spiral going up. Yeah, like that. Barber, huh? barber, barbershop what? Spiral like that, that red spiral in front of a barber. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, the candy can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that, that making it a circle, it's, it's like one continuous move almost. I was making it. Hook, pause, hook, where you're saying it's almost like you're riding the momentum. Yes, sir. That's cool. It's like a hula hoop almost. And you just point that shoulder. As long as you point that shoulder back at the bag. After. Yeah. Yeah. Feels strong. I, 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 I used to trust that you used to have people tell me, get this shoulder back. I, now I could have said that. Instead of saying that, they said, put this shoulder in front. I didn't think about that shoulder because you can't put this shoulder in front without Yeah, they're connected. Back. Yeah, they're connected. For some reason, you gotta go back, you gotta go back. You, you know, as a fighter, we're more used to throwing things than pulling things. Right. So it might just be a, more intuitive to throw the right, it's almost like you're throwing a cross, you just don't throw it. And that loads up your hook. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, that, man, I can feel that in my bicep, that's stronger. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next one. You really feel the difference there? You, can you tell the difference there? Oh, yeah. I mean, I never feel my biceps when I'm throwing hooks. I felt that. Okay, jab, cross, body hook, head hook. Okay, the shoulder push to back him up. Front kick, the stabbing front kick, cross hook. You're, you're, think about your head. My head. Boom. 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 So I think I understand all the kicks and punches. Can you break down that shoulder push? A okay. little bit for me. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go here. So I'm on the inside like this. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna have my head here. I might have my head right here because it looks like we're right here. Oh. So anyways, uh it's gonna have to be on the side over here. Just a little, just, just a little. Just a little with both hands like this. You got your whole body behind it. So you're gonna push this part, push this part of your hand, just push it. Yeah. Just a little, a little push that way. Oh and then you front kick with the front foot. Yes, sir. That way you can fall into the right. Yes, sir. And finish with the hook. And that front leg. Have you ever stabbed someone with a front kick? Yes, sir. And then, where they went, ah. You done that before? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, you know. So, like on a person, I back them up. If I'm practicing on a bag, yeah. it's kind of hard to back the bag up. Would I push me back with the shoulder uh, push? Go ahead and practice with, with, your, with your kicking in close like that. Okay. So, I shove him as he's leaning back, I stab that teeth, fall into the cross hook. Yeah, Telling you exactly what to do. Make sure that I'm showing you how to do it. Make sure that that's what I mean. 
So it's almost like that Batman glove where these little spikes stick out of Batman's gloves. You almost hit them with your forearm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Not just your gloves. Okay. Uh, yeah. Boom. Let's see here. We're going like this. Yeah. I think it's less likely to slip off. Where if I just try to push with my glove, I might oh, slip. Yeah. But if I use my whole oh. arm, I'm not missing. No, and you got both of them in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you're, you're, you're down below their head, down below their chin. And that goes well with those uppercuts we already worked. Yes, sir. He thinks I'm going to uppercut. Boom. Boom. Instead of going on the top, you have to go. <laughs> Yeah, you'll, you'll, the, and a front kick. Wait, wait, wait. I said, okay, you know, a front kick here. Okay. Well, well when you, put, you stab that front kick in there, it really takes the Especially when you shoulder punch me, it's going to kind of stretch me up a little bit. Kick me, do it, do it, he's pushing me with that front kick. Oh, yeah, your ribs are more exposed. Oh, yeah, so you're like this. I mean, you're not, you're not going to, most likely, they won't be like this, but sometimes they are. And if they're just up a little bit more, open it up. Yes, sir. And then, so when I, so when I'm in, okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do the front kick a little harder. Right? Yes, sir. Put your hand down here like this. Yeah, like that. Like that. So I'm going to front kick you a little bit. So what do you think? You thought that kick was coming? Yeah. Maybe. Braced. Was, yeah. You may be kind of braced for it. I'm not sure. I was trying to get you to. No, I was, yeah, I was way ready for the kick, not the overhand. <laughs> so that's what I did. I, I, I tricked him again. Or I lied to him. So it's either him out of me or me out of him. Right, so the next one, this one helped me a lot when you taught me. It's the uh, guys that are faster than me. You taught me to jab them in the chest yeah. or the collarbone. Yeah. So if he's always slipping, you can't find his head. I don't know if you want to chase him. No problem. Yeah. I don't know. Separate your gloves a little bit more. Put your fingers more. There you go. And then you'll be more like, like this. Yes, sir. That angle. I really like that look there. I was holding mine here. He keeps uh, correcting me. We're going to twist them a little bit more and then widen them. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Right, right there. So this does mess up my vision less. Okay. My classic one, I do lose a lot of vision. I feel safe here, but I can't hardly see legs. It's great for boxing, but I, I, I really, when we're doing low kicks, I can't see. So right there? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like. Maybe that. Even though I know you uh, specialized in PKA kickboxing, I can see your legs just fine. Yeah. Where when I go here, I can't see the low kick. Yeah. Yeah. So I like that. That's simple. That takes some work. All right, your next one was a chest, chest. Can't hit him. Do you, do you always step or do you only step when you need to for oh, range? You, you want to step. You definitely want to step to add that power. So even if I'm in range, you still put that stomp, put the body mask yeah, behind I, it. I, I would, I would, I would either stay out of range. I would either stay out, stay out of range or stay in range. I mean, yes, sir. I would either stay out of range, or so don't. If you're out, if you're in range, don't fight. I mean, don't uh, don't fight in range because what well, they can hit you. Sure, to be hitting him. Yeah, yeah. So you use. If you're in range, you gotta be fight, you gotta be hitting him. Yes, sir. And kick. You're kicking or you're punching your opponent. Who's that guy in there? Uh, that, that's Jackson. He's just here working. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got the body jab. Okay, now we're gonna drill the right hook. I used to do this one a lot. Come in, drill the right hook to the body two or three times. Yes, sir, again, one more. There you go. Right there. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, Is that enough level change? Am I getting my head low enough? Yeah. Yeah. As long as, as long as. So go ahead and do it. Leave it out there. Your head where your hand is. More or less. Is it level? Close. Get a little lower. A little lower. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So it's hard to. Oh, that does look stronger. It's hard to tell when you're uh, when you this far, far too high or too low, too high. Uh, but let's just just keep the area and throw hard. <laughs> Pretty weak. So so you can win that way. You can really tell it. But when you when it's this close, you can't tell it hardly. But there's got to be more power. Your so I didn't throw my bicep at all. I'm too high. Yeah. I feel that all the way in my bicep tricep. Yeah. That's definitely strong. That's why I've been boxed up for a decade. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your pinky. Go back there a little more and get your thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now do it. Yeah. Sideways. 
Yeah, yeah. getting that two inches lower, I feel way stronger. It's only two inches. Yes, sir. It could be 2,000 pounds that you're not getting. So I, I, maybe this was wrong. I learned you punch shoulder height, so I was dropping my head to my shoulder. You're saying drop your head to your head is equal with the target. Yeah. And that does feel stronger. I wouldn't want to get hit with that. No. And if you like to set two or three of those up, yeah. light on them, and then you throw the overhand. Yeah. So when you throw that overhand, are you still level changing? Or are you just lying yeah. to them with your, so you still dip? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your head going up like that, it's gonna, your head's going to be going down, it's going to, it's okay. That's how you get some of the power. Keep your head in the overhand line. Right. Keep your head up in the overhand line. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See? So it's all, where that head is. When you're punching, you have to, you have to have your head in the right place. When you're kicking, you have to have your head in the right place. Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be this. It can't be, it can't be. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, and it can't be, it can't be this. And then punch. So this, this, uh, when you're, when you're kicking, you got that thing for, whether it's the front kick, or the ground kick, or the side kick, or a troop back kick. Yes, sir. You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta have your body, your positioning of your body is more important. Can you imagine if uh, I said how much, how much, uh, let's see, yeah, how much can you uh, squat? 300 pounds or so. Okay, so I want you to curl up here. Oh, no way. <laughs> why, why? Quads are way stronger. Your position of your body is just totally out of whack. Yes, sir. You, can do it. you can do it, but not the right, but, 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 but you're not doing it the right way. You lift up, you lift, you use your body. On this on the, on you your body on this part this way you your body on this part this way you so you have to use your body for whatever weightlifting drill you're doing. <laughs> so on an overhand, if my opponent's my height, how high should my head be on the moment of impact on the overhand? So it's gonna be right here. So it's almost uh, chest level when you land the overhand. This is top of my head here. Yes, sir. Top of my head here, boom. Yeah. Here. That's about how tall I want to be on the over? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Can I get you to move this so the camera can see? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Okay, turn your pinky uh, in a little bit. Yes, sir. And. Okay, go, don't, don't let this hand come back at all. Yes, sir. Don't, don't lose it back to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you, if, you, if you want to get more power, then you go one, two. Go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, so you're getting that you're getting that more power. If you, you if you throw it from from here, it doesn't have much wind up. It doesn't have as much, so you're here. You're moving that head back. Boom! Yeah, boom, boom, boom. boom. That? that feels good. Yeah. On your footwork. Are you pushing almost like you're sprinting? I would, I would, I would definitely push with the back leg. So I didn't, I didn't say that. Definitely you're leaning forward, 45 degrees. All your weight shifts the front leg. That knee's been out right, up, right above the toes. I know a lot of times you finish with the left hook. Oh, but I think that actually comes up later. Yes, sir. So that's body hook, body hook, body hook. Once he's watching for the body hook, we go to the overhand. All right. This time we're gonna body jab him. If you win world titles, they just watch there. <laughs> All right. You're, you're two or three. What did you say? We're doing two or three body jabs. Okay. And then a left hook. What, what number are we on? Number eight. Okay. So this is kind of like that first one we did. We're gonna go jab, jab, left hook. Okay, so we started off. Boom, boom. So now we're doing the opposite. We're gonna body jab him a couple times. That 45 degree angle. And you come, you back. come back up to the head. Get on, get back a little bit more. So you step, <laughs> back a little more, maybe. Okay, now step. <laughs> now so you're at a 45, man, now you throw that hook. <laughs> yeah, so your head goes down there, and then it comes up a little bit. You know? <laughs> 
get low, you might get your head lower when you walk. Uh, get you stand there. Oh, you did. Yeah. So, so don't don't punch like this. You are just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. So wherever you're at, and then and that's when your uh, body is your, your, your body, your back like this. You want your back like and all straight. Is that enough, or any bit more? I think you need a bit more. Yeah. So you just put this on your foot now. It's definitely stronger. Yes, sir. Number nine, jab the head two or three times. Okay, yeah. Then set up the side kick. Lunging side kick. Yes, sir. But not a range again. We don't fight in range. We work in range. Don't, don't, don't move your eyelids when you're sitting. <laughs> Someone taught me how to hook harder. You're you're sitting, you're sitting, you're <laughs> yes, sir. It's a same So, uh, what? Side kick? We're doing two or three jabs, yeah. a power jab. Yeah, and then you just flinch. Fake. Oh, it's just a flinch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, flinch. Because he, you keep going. Like I'm afraid of my left hand. Yeah. So when you say flinch, is it like a shoulder roll or? Okay. Yeah, just, just fake it like you're doing that jab. And then the footwork, do I fire the sight kick yeah, and I move the body? Right. Okay. So Both there's no and step, both. you just let the so body drag. So my head goes forward and then I go back. Hit him with several jabs. Fake by going forward, throw my head backwards. So I yeah, the sight kick is that leg, that leg went first. That, that foot was like a canoe going down the river. Canoes don't go down the river. Yes, no, sir. Put the nose of the ship down. Mr. Matthews calls that a pull drag. Drag your foot across the mat. Yes, sir. And you let the kick pull you. So we're. Separate your hands. Separate your hands. There you go, like that. Yeah. So we're keep those hands separate. Yeah. Got the hand in there. Is that connected? Would you follow with the right hand or would you follow with the kick? I think you could do either one. Either one. Either okay. one. Follow the right. The jab just doesn't feel like it would have anything. I, I think, I've, even, I've even done it before on the jab cross. Jab cross. Yeah. Okay. One. Two. Oh, yeah. So it helps, it helps set the, it helps set the, uh, op, the directional opposites. Just when you pull that hand back, you get more power. That, so I get like reverse uh, torque with the left hand, you know, fire on the right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah. Got just a few more left. All right. That was 10. We're going to do a jab. Left hook to the body. Hook, head, cross. Okay, so combo six. The same. Our, our combo six and our boxing combos is a jab. You're just doing, okay, combo six, but with a body hook. Okay. So our combo six is jab, cross, hook, oh, yeah. hook, cross. You're so doing you the same thing. Hook. You're just so doing then. the first one to the body. Yeah. So I'm here. Separate thing. Jab, cross. Level chain. Boom. Boom. And then fire the cross. Oh, You're getting better on the defense? Oh, yeah, that's good. Only if he's there. <laughs> he takes a nap. <laughs> two, 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 two. Yeah. If you don't take a nap, then you hit that land. Yes, sir. <laughs> night, night. So I start out of range, so I practice stepping in. Two, 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 two. I don't think I dipped enough on that body shot. He came into you, so he kind of looked around. Two, 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 two. Yeah. <laughs> 
when you get Bobby Bunny's back on you, you know you're hitting it back hard. <laughs> Have you ever seen Bobby Bunny's back on the back? <laughs> Only when Troy Dorsey's in my corner. I just saw it. Left jab, right hook to the body two or three times. Then fake the jab. Hook the head. Hook the head. So I program him that I throw. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then do I just fake the jab and just throw the right by itself? Or is it jab right? Let me see what I wrote. If I just if we wrote that down. I jab, right hook to the body. Close the waist two or three times. Fake jab. Hook the head. Oh, I mean, yeah. So I program him that I go high low. And then you fire the right cross. Yes, okay. Then you fake. Right across. Just says right. Yeah, it'll, it'll work either way. Yeah. So we worked the jab for quite a bit in this. Group of uh, combinations we've been having to make sure the jab is really hard for me. In fact, I think it's all I could the jab. Oh, I don't want anything. I'm going to go to sleep. That right there is going to be much different. Yes, I mean. Oh, oh just headbutt the punch. Yeah. See, it's making my knuckles hurt. My knuckles never hurt from hitting the bag. Really? That's, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, so really, well, you said that, yeah, that ain't working. Think, oh, no. And then, well, I think it's that dropping my head just two inches lower than I used to. Yeah. Powering up my body shots. Now, like, every combo step. I think sometimes I would work in and just start peppering. But that initial... Yeah, Power good. stomp on the way in. Yeah, if you want to play with them for a minute, you just want to go pow, pow. Boom! Or, or don't do that one. Do something else. Yes, sir. It's, it's okay to go once in a while. But, it's, but, but, but it's, the only reason you don't throw the jab hard is because you're going to throw something else really, really hard. Yes, sir. All right, so the next so one. Set, even though it's, you're not doing much, you are setting something up. So everything you do is a setup. No waste of motion. There's no waste of motion. So this next one, you know, you're real good. That's where I struggle is on the inside. You're doing, uh, we're already on the inside. We're in close. Left up, right up, left hook, right cross. You said the uppercuts are just right in front of your face. So we're in close. Let's turn sideways maybe where they can see you better. Okay. So in here, do you dip like you did on the other ones? You're, you're already here. Already you're dipped. Already here. Okay. So you, you just lay out of the way just a little bit in, in your face. When you say lay out of the way, do you mean do I go this way for the up? Uh, or back? Right to my hand. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, right there it is. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah. Just here, right there. Yeah. And, and then just lean back on this. <laughs> All right. So. And do you like bully people with your head? Are you I pushing have. them? Okay. And as you back off, you just replace. Yeah, just back. Just don't back up that much. Yeah, it's right there, see? <laughs> Right there. You're just creating just enough space for your glove to get in there. You can give him a little push before that, too. Oh, yeah. Turn back on you again. That's cool. Right, this is the one you won the world title with. Slip his jab. Separate your hand a bit. Slip his jab. Overhand, overhand right. If he's not dead, left hook. You might keep your elbow down a little bit. A little bit. On the overhand? Yeah, yeah. So your hand your hand here, stay here. Yes, sir. Don't let it go above your see my elbow going above my uh, fist. No, sir. Slip. 
And you throw that left hook high or do you throw it to the body? You can't, you throw it. So if you throw it, if you throw it to the body, then your head's gonna be here. And then yes. Wherever you drop. Yes, sir. Wherever you where where the, 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 wherever your head is, that's where you're gonna punch. Yes, sir. So the punch doesn't return the head, the head just punch. Oh wow. That's a heavyweight. That's a heavyweight hook there. Oh yeah, separate the hand a little bit more. And you gotta see they're starting farther back. Yes, sir. Starting farther back. It's gonna take a little bit more time to get there, but also you're building up more power to get that much. More momentum. Build up the power. Yes. Good. All right. Main the main last one. The Jab. Left hook to the body. No, we already did that one. That one's on there twice. Jab, hook, hook. Cross. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're done. You did that one. One, two, three, four. Yes, sir. I believe okay. so. I believe that was number. Yeah, 11 and 15 are the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah.